Hello, if you watched my previous tutorial on how to make a logo in Adobe Photoshop, you're probably wondering, um, how can I make more different styled backgrounds? So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to. So, first of all, open up your image or open a new one. To open a new one, go File, which is on the top row, uh, towards the left, and it's uh, in a tab. So, just click that. Um, and then select new or you could press control n here is a new window you can name it you can have change your preset the width the height etc but i'm going to keep it as it is um i'm going to keep the width at 500 the height at 500 and the name entitled one so once you've done changing that just click ok um it is a button on top right Okay, so once it's finished loading or creating the image, you will see it in front of you. Um, depending on uh, if you chose to make the background white, black, or transparent in the last window, which we just seen, then it will pop up with whatever colored background. So anyway, I'm gonna make the background black. Um, here are you two. Here are your two color tabs. And to change one, just sing double click, single click even on it, and then you get this new window. And you can just move your mouse over this box to select what color you want. You can also move it over this rectangle. So I'm going to select black. So I'm going to move my cursor into the bottom left uh, to select the black, and then you just click OK, which is top right once you're finished. Then uh, you can use your paint bucket tool to color the background in so uh, you just can go to uh, the toolbar on the side it may be on gradient or the paint bucket tools so just right click to change it and then single click on the one you want and then just click anywhere within the image to change the color then create a new layer by going to your layers tab which is by default on the right hand side and click uh, the new layer tab uh, which I am showing you now then uh, create two rectangles by going again to the toolbar and selecting the rectangular marquee tool it may not be on that so right click and then single click on it to change it then uh, just hold and uh, drag your cursor uh, into whatever shape you want uh, to create your rectangle and then just let go to finish it okay now you're going to need to change your color again so go back to the color tabs and again single click it and then change the color so in this example I'm going to use green and just again click OK once you're done and then get either the pen tool or the paint bucket tool I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and click anywhere in the selection uh, which is black and white uh, like flashing Okay, then go back to your rectangular marquee tool, uh, which we used earlier, and just drag it up a bit. And then go to the paint bucket tool again, and then also click in the selection, or you can change the color if you want. Then go back to the rectangular marquee tool, right click, and then select deselect. It will be at the top of the new menu which popped up when you right click. Then go to uh, edit which is a tab towards the top right of the window then select free transform just so that you completely transform uh, the layer you can rotate it like so or make the size bigger um, but we're going to do stripes so I'm going to rotate it uh, so it's diagonal and then I'm going to make the size bigger and might make it uh, not so chunky and then you just uh, use these kind of diamond shapes to uh, resize it and then you can also click within the image and move it about so once you're happy with where it is um, just click wow well, I'll show you once I'm happy with where, where it is so once you're happy click on one of the tools at the side then it will open up this new window 
it'll ask you if you want to apply the transformation. If you're happy with it, click apply. And there you go, you're, you have your striped background. Thank you for watching.